This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. PSA time, guys. We've got a little bit to talk about, so why don't you go ahead and have a seat. There is a problem right now in the USB situation. Obviously, lots of new devices are coming out these days with USB Type-C ports, but there's been a little bit of confusion about this new kind of universal standard. Over the weekend, I spent a lot of time on Reddit, as I tend to, and I happened to see that an engineer from Google, Benson Lung, I hope I'm saying his name correctly, was on a bit of a crusade, and he was running around Amazon leaving reviews on cables specifically USB Type-A to Type-C cables, since we're using a lot of those these days, and leaving positive or negative reviews on them depending on whether or not they meet USB Type-C spec, which if you know anything about it, you know that Google is in charge of. USB Type-C spec means that you need to be able to handle a certain amount of output and input and for the resistors in the cables to be able to let the, the phone know exactly how much power it should be able to pull. Cables that don't meet spec don't correctly use a 56 kilo ohm resistor to let the phone know how much power it should be pulling. And what that means is that you're gonna wind up pulling more power on your phone than your charger can actually accommodate for. Since the cable isn't telling your phone how much power it can actually pull, when you plug a Type-A to Type-C cable into, let's say, a 2.0 amp charger and a Nexus 6, what's gonna happen is the Nexus 6, since the cable is telling the Nexus 6 that it can pull power as if it were a USB-C to C cable that can handle all the way up to three amps, your phone is gonna say, okay, cool cable, I trust you. And it's gonna start pulling power at that rate, despite the fact that the charger can't actually handle it. And what that's gonna mean is you risk doing significant damage to your charger. You can actually blow out the USB port on your charger entirely, which means you're gonna to have to buy another one of those. Now, Benson was kind enough to leave good reviews on the good cables. So, if you head to Amazon, you're looking to buy a USB Type-A to Type-C cable for yourself for all your brand new Type-C devices, you can head to Amazon and do so. You can pick up a cable from Anker. They do great stuff. You can pick up a cable from Belkin, obviously a very trusted name in the industry. And you can pick up a cable from iOrange. There's a handful of other cable manufacturers as well, but you can go ahead and check. All of that information will be in the description and probably hovering above me at some point as well. You might also be sad to learn that Basically my favorite cable of all time, the OnePlus cable that they make uh, from Type-A to Type-C is not US type -C, USB Type-C compliant, which I'm really bummed about because I really, really love these cables. Unfortunately, the other thing you're gonna have to keep an eye out for is cables are not the only thing you gotta pay attention to. Of course, adapters are basically just short cables. So if your adapter doesn't support the same spec, then you're gonna be at risk of the same problem. Now, what if you're asking yourself, look man, I already bought some cables. I don't know if these are okay to use. Well, you're in luck. One developer has been very smart and gotten ahead of the game by making an app called Checker. All you gotta do is pull up Checker, plug in a cable to your phone, and it'll tell you if it's good enough to use. If it turns red and it's got an X, then don't, don't do it. Don't plug it in anymore. I don't know why you would think to do it. But if it's green and it's got a check, then you're good to go. Just a heads up, this is indeed the Nexus 6 cable that it came with, and that is indeed the Nexus 6 charger. Checker is not built to check C to C cables, so when you plug it in, it's still gonna give you an X. Don't be alarmed, totally okay. Use Checker to check any USB type A to type C cables in your home, and definitely check the reviews on cables before you buy them. In general, anything less than 10 bucks is probably not gonna be up to spec. Anyway, that is your quick PSA for this week in November. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, be kind to one another, and I'll catch you in the next video. So while I was on the internet this weekend, I found myself with a couple of good ideas. So of course, I was thinking domains, so I head to domain.com to register them, and I was looking at the top-level domains, and I saw a dot .accountant, and I thought to myself, why don't accountants have hype men? You know, you're getting your taxes done. There's like a guy behind him really amped on how much you're saving and how much your tax refund's gonna be. He should have a hype man. So whoever out there has the wherewithal to go make a website so that accountants can book their own hype men, you can go ahead and register hypeman.accountant on domain.com. And you know what? You don't even have to do it for all that much money because if you use the code TechnoBuffalo, you're gonna get 20% off of that entire order. Go ahead, use it for one of the domains that you were gonna register anyway, still 20% off. It's a really great deal. And like I said, this weekend I was thinking about domains, so I was thinking domain.com, and that's what you should be doing too.